Hello, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm just going to go over metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, the enzymes that are utilized, and the end metabolic uses through them, for them. Okay, so remember, the enzymes. Now, carbohydrate breakdown, when you hear carbohydrates, you always want to affiliate the enzyme with amylase. Amylase is always going to be the breakdown of carbohydrates or starches. And where does it always begin? It always begins in the mouth. So salivary amylase is an enzyme secreted for carbohydrate breakdown in the mouth. And once it gets to the small intestines, the pancreas is going to release its digestive enzymes as well in the form of pancreatic amylase. But you can see the commonality here is the amylase is always going to be referred as a breakdown of carbohydrates or starches. Why? It's going to break it down to the simplest form. It's going to go from a polysaccharide which is multiple units, to a disaccharide, to its simplest form, to a monosaccharide. That's why we have the enzymes, we want to break it down to its simplest form. It gets absorbed, remember it starts breaking down the mouth, and it gets absorbed through the small intestines. The capillary villi to the liver, because again the liver wants to make use of all the carbohydrates. It's going to make its way from the small intestines through the hepatic portal system, which is the hepatic portal vein. And then once it gets to the liver, it's going to have multiple uses. It's going to make ATP. It's going to be stored as glycogen. Now remember, glycogen, if it's stored glucose. So as I always explain, so glucose in its simplest form is a single grape, whereas glycogen is a multitude of grapes. And it's stored in the liver for energy when we need it later on. Or if we have too many carbohydrates taken in, it's going to go through a process called lipogenesis, which is going to be stored as fat. Okay, so that's carbohydrates. So let's break it down to, to lipids. Lipids, they are first emulsified by bile. Bile is made in the liver, stored and concentrated 20 times in the gallbladder. And when we take in a fatty substance, once it bypasses the stomach, it goes to the small intestines, the pancreas triggers, okay, the, uh, releases an enzyme to tell the gallbladder to release bile. And the function of bile is to break down the fats. We also have a pancreatic enzyme called lipase. Now remember, so an enzyme always ends in ACE, but what does it break down? Look at the prefix, okay? So it's lipase. Now with fats, remember fats, function of fats, it's a glycerol and three fatty acids. So when that gets broken down, the glycerol enters the capillary system through the blood. The fatty acids enters the lacteal through the lymphatic system. Okay, so you, if you see here, you have the microvilli. Yeah, I'm sorry, you have the villi and the small intestines, and you have the microvilli. Okay, so remember, so the three fatty acids enters, again, it enters the, the lacteal, through the, uh, it's going to go into the lymphatic system, whereas the glycerol is going to enter through the bloodstream, through the capillary system. And it's going to go over to the liver. So you want to have the glycerol over to the liver, okay? And the, what, what it's going to end up as, cell membrane. Because remember, our cell membranes are a fatty bilayer. Myelin sheath. Our myelin sheath, which covers the nerves, because we need fat to help the nerve to her to help the nerve regenerate help the nerve function atp stored energy it acts as a cushion okay we need we need fat adipose tissue around our organs for cushion also to cholesterol because cholesterol is made from fat and the cholesterol again that helps utilize over 200 functions of the body our hormones stabilize the adrenal system and so forth and so on so that's lipids. Now proteins. Now proteins, okay, the enzyme, pepsin, trypsin, and peptidase. The main one is pepsin, okay? So protein digestion begins where? In the stomach. Now pepsin, actually, let's back it up a little bit. Anytime you see ogen, okay, that means stored. Here it's pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is converted to the active form of pepsin through hydrochloric acid. And that starts to break down the proteins where? In the stomach. And how it's breaking it down, why? Because it wants to take, again, a nice complex form, which is a polypeptide, 
and break it down to a simplest form, amino acid. And then once it gets through the stomach, it goes into small intestines, and then here it gets the absorbed in the capillaries and the villi to where? Th to the liver through the hepatic portal vein. And then once it gets into the liver, the liver processes these amino acids into different uses, a lot of different uses. It's going to make enzymes. More enzymes, it's going to make enzymes for our neurotransmitters, okay? Part of hemoglobin, muscle proteins, and stored energy in ATP. Because remember, when we are utilizing our system, the main source of energy is, is going to come from carbohydrates. It's going to come from glucose. However, when the glucose stores are used up, the body's going to make this dynamic shift and it's going to start pulling off our fatty acids for energy or proteins for energy. Okay, so I hope this is an easier chart to understand the metabolism of the breakdown of proteins, fats, and carbs. Thanks for watching and take care.